Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we present part two in our series on people taking the leap into the new energy economy. Ray Ann Wadey grew up on a sod farm near Edson, Alberta. Fresh out of school, she had no particular affinity for solar and in fact was more interested in a diesel truck advertised on the board at a local grocery store. And I was like, hmm, I could buy a truck. I have enough saved away to buy that and then I could get a horse trailer and then I could haul my horse around. <laughs> and I spent quite a bit of time wondering if I should spend all of my money on tuition for school or all of my money on a truck. <laughs> and I ultimately made the decision to go to school and learn about solar instead of buying a diesel truck. It all started with a little encouragement. So I think I was 19 and I was looking for something to do and my dad was harassing me to go to school. So one day one of my parents clipped an article out of one of the Edmonton newspapers and handed it to me and it was about this new program at Nate or alternative energy technology. So I wasn't a dreamer about getting into solar or anything like that. It just looked like something interesting and I decided to just go for it. Before she knew it, Ray Ann was immersed in this new two-year alternative energy program. She encountered 22 instructors, including one solar guru. It was interesting having Gordon Howell as a teacher because he is pretty much the pioneer of solar in Alberta. He had the first solar PV system installed, I think, west of Ontario. Ray Ann did well in the program, but even though they were very knowledgeable about alternative energy, employers didn't quite know what to do with these new grads. So, Ray Ann returned to her hometown of Edson. I started looking for an electrical apprenticeship, and nobody wanted to hire me. It was a little slow at the time, but then I think there was also a little bit of maybe stigma of like, oh, here's this girl coming and wanting to work at this electrical company. And, you know, like, you know, you're going to have to be working with guys, right? Rayanne knew the Edson Recycling Center was installing solar because she had helped Gordon Howell with the designs. So she showed up at the work site. I showed up and said, can I help? And <laughs> they let me help. But I got hired for the week. And then, well, do you want to come and work in the city for a few weeks and help us with this job? And then, actually, do you want to stay for the whole summer? Rianne worked for Great Canadian Solar, installing for five months. While there, she worked on iconic solar projects, such as the Camrose Performing Arts Centre and the Leduc Recreation Centre. A megawatt of solar on a rooftop is really cool looking. It's just a sea of solar, and it kind of sucks putting it on, like it's just repetitive. You put clamps on, you put rail on, you kind of hurt all the time. <laughs> but then ultimately the result in the end is just this sea of solar. I feel really good about working in an energy industry that is clean energy. Once that solar is up, it's up and it doesn't pollute. It's up there for 20, 25 potentially even 30 years. It's just there. It's producing clean energy from the sun, and it makes me feel really good to be a part of that. Rianne had to work hard to find her place in the clean energy industry. But now, just a few years later, she finds herself as one of the most experienced and employable people in the industry. Learn more, check out our video, photos, and blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. I'm that girl in a diesel truck, though, wheeling 